Hello and welcome. This is an, a video tour of my Hauptwerk virtual organ. Hauptwerk is a piece of software written by Martin Dyde, currently marketed by Milan Digital Audio in the US, although Martin Dyde is actually in the UK and originally sold the software through Crumhorn Labs but then transferred the rights to Milan Digital Audio. A virtual pipe organ is not really an electronic organ in the conventional sense because it doesn't have any oscillators nor is it a synthesizer because the sounds that it makes are not synthesized what it actually is, is it's a means of producing original recordings of each individual pipe of an organ such that the pipes can be played. And you can see from the organ that this particular organ has got three manuals, which means that the, as far as the manuals are concerned, it can manage three divisions of an organ. In this case, the way I usually have this configured, the centre manual is the great organ, the upper manual, top manual, is the swell organ, and the lower manual is the choir organ. Those are the traditional English names for the manual divisions of an organ. In addition to that, uh, you can manage a fourth division to an organ uh, in this case, because you can see here that there is a pedal board which enables you to play a pedal organ as well. Now this organ is self-constructed and all these sound samples that constitute a Hauptwerk virtual organ are all contained in a computer which runs the software and which retrieves the sound recordings for each individual pipe according to the organ that you've selected to play. And I've got quite a few organs, some of which I've bought because they're commercial, and quite a few virtual organs are actually available free of charge although the vast majority you do have to purchase and some of them are very expensive but it has to be said that this is a means of, a, of getting a classical organ into your house which I've dreamed of all my adult life in fact since I was a teenager and this is a means of, of doing that so even though the samples are not cheap and the computer is not necessarily cheap and the software is not necessarily cheap it's an extremely good way of getting a proper organ into your house. OK, I'm going to show you the way the organ was constructed because I built it myself and I'm going to do that in a minute. Let's start with the pedal board. The pedal board is the only part of the organ that I didn't build completely myself. In fact, it came out of a Methodist church in Loughborough, a town near the East Midlands in England, in the UK, and it cost me £4.99 pence on eBay. But it's 110, 115 years old, so of course it required a lot of restoration. So in fact, it's been completely sanded, re-varnished and re-stained where, where the parts require staining, varnishing where they required varnishing. And I'll just let you see it. There you are. It's a 30 note concave radiating pedal board which is broadly in line with the current Royal College of Organists here in the UK with their kind of specification though they say they don't have a specification but it would be in line with what an RCO organist would expect to find. So there's the, that's the pedal board. You can also see here my um, organ bench, which I also built, designed myself. Um, it's got lots of space for storing uh, music and stuff as well. Of course, all organs have to have means of controlling, as well as playing the notes with the keyboards and the pedal board, they also have to have means of selecting the stops. Now we've got two means of selecting stops on this organ. Firstly, we've got a Behringer, 
um, foot control unit. This is called the FCB 1010 and it's got 10 individually settable foot switches which are used as foot combinations for selecting combinations of stops and then it's also got two pedals that are continuous controls for the two functions of crescendo which that's the one on the right which for those who don't know is a means of bringing stepwise all the, the stops of the organ into play step by step as you depress the pedal and the left hand pedal is the swell pedal which again for those that don't know is a means of opening the shutters of, of the enclosed part of the organ which is called the swell organ and opening the shutters increases the volume. The crescendo and the swell pedal are completely different therefore in their functions but the, this Beringer device is connected to the computer and it enables me to control the organ. The pedal, uh, sorry, the manuals were just taken from MIDI keyboards. Of course, a help vir virtual organ works using uh, MIDI. Um, I have three keyboards here. They're 61 notes. That means for each individual stop of the organ, we expect to find si 61 individual pipes. Because unlike a flute or a recorder or a tin whistle, um, a pipe in a pipe organ only plays one note. So if you've got a um, whole range from 60 of 61 notes, which is five octaves, what we've got here, each rank of pipes needs to have 61 pipes. Some ranks have more than 61 pipes because they are more pipe, more than one pipe per note. And a few ranks have rather less than 61 pipes because, for example, the pedal division only has 30 notes, so it only needs 30 pipes per division. OK. The other means of controlling the uh, the stops is by means of this um, touch screen, which you'll see when we turn the organ on. And we've got to produce some sound. So for producing sound in this organ, we've got two studio class monitors giving 85 watts each by amplified. That means the tweeters and the mid-range units have their own amplification separately. So they're 85 watts each and then we've also got down, tucked away down here, a little bit out of sight, is a KEF 125 watt subwoofer which has the function of operating very low frequencies that are produced by some of the pedal pipes. Okay, let's have a look inside the organ and to do that I'm going to open it. Now I've opened the door of the organ the side door, it's got two doors, I'll show you both in a minute. This is the uh, looking into the organ now and uh, this is the computer which is not switched on currently because the organ's off and that computer has to be a very powerful computer for the HALP vir virtual organ. And this is a quad-core Pentium with a total capacity uh, for memory uh, on the motherboard of 16 gigabytes though actually I've only got 8 gigabytes in place as we speak but it does take 16 gigabytes if we require it needs that kind of capacity of computer to run a, a decent sized virtual organ under Outwork. this is running 64-bit Windows Vista Ultimate 64-bit operating systems are able to handle the amount of memory you require a 32-bit operating system, which is conventional Windows, it just doesn't have the addressing range to uh, to deal with the full range of memory. We've also got another little box sitting on top of that computer, which you can see there. This little box is actually a MIDI guitar device, which enables me to plug a guitar in, because I'm also a guitarist, plug a guitar in, and to drive any of the MIDI musical instruments that I've got on this system which is ever so good because a guitar really suits a saxophone and a flute. It's fantastic playing saxophone with your guitar, especially when you can't play one normally. <laughs> OK, in the base there, base of the organ, you can see some uh, ribbon cable. That ribbon cable carries the signals from the 30 notes of the pedal board. And these notes are detected by some reed switches which are operated by magnets 
whenever you put your foot on one of the pedals. When you put your foot on a pedal, the pedal goes down, a little magnet goes down with it because it's attached to it, and that presence of that magnet is detected by a reed switch which sends a, uh, an on-off signal down one of those wires in the ribbon cable and that goes to a MIDI adapter which I'm going to show you in a moment. <laughs> 